Hello, my friends. Welcome back to The Morning Mindset. I hope you're ready right now to get your mind aligned with the truth of God's Word. Let's just take a second and kind of shake it out. Take a deep breath. Get your mind ready, man. Stretching like that's making me want to yawn. I've got to get ready here. Get my mind aligned with the truth of God's Word because I want to see my day through the lens of God's perspective. And that's what The Morning Mindset is all about. Today, we're going to be digging into the truths of what happened when we placed our faith in Jesus Christ. But before we do so, I want to tell you about what to me is really great news. My wife and I have finally gotten to the point we have released our new podcast, which is a podcast oriented around topics having to do with Christian marriage. So if you're a Christian husband, a Christian wife, and you want your marriage to grow, we are pulling gems from the scripture every other week on our new podcast called You and Me and Jesus. You can go to youandmeandjesus.com to find out more about the podcast, and there should be a link to that podcast in the description for this episode. All right, we are looking today at Ephesians chapter 2, verses 4 and 5. Now, this is the same set of verses we looked at yesterday when we were looking at the fact that we have been made alive together with Christ. And the reason we're looking at the same passage is because it goes on to talk about something that happened after we were made alive. Now, remember, when he says we were made alive, he's talking about two different things that happened to us. First of all, our dead spirit that we were born with was made alive so that we could be responsive to God and we could connect with God in relationship. But also, he's talking about the fact that when Jesus died on the cross, we died with him. And when he was raised from the grave, we were raised with him. And it's on that second point that he says in verse number five, he raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Now, friends, we're talking about spiritual stuff here. And I hope that the fact that we're talking about spiritual things does not make you feel like these are imaginary things, because that is the furthest thing from the truth. You see, just as things are happening in our lives on a physical level, we can touch, taste, smell, hear, feel things on a physical realm, there is a spiritual realm as well. And I think we all, in our spirit, recognize that there are things happening on a different plane than we normally are able to see and touch and feel. And on that spiritual level, when we place our faith in Christ, this amazing transformation happens. And it's a transformation of our very being, where we are identified with Jesus in his death and in his resurrection. And when we are raised up with him, we are made into a new creation free from the effects of our old life. And he says here, we are seated with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Then we need to think this through from a standpoint of reality and a standpoint of identity. Friends, let me ask you a very simple question. If you can take take a moment to imagine yourself seated with Jesus on a throne at the right hand of God, in heaven, how would the situations and circumstances you face here on planet Earth look different? I mean, yes, it's kind of hard to imagine. You're in two places at once, and it's reality, gang. It's true. We are seated with Christ in the heavenly realm, spiritually speaking. So our, the real us, the identity that he's given us, is rooted there in heaven on the right hand of God with Christ And yet we live here on planet Earth. You see, for me, when I look at it from that standpoint, that I'm actually in heaven looking down on the things happening here on Earth, I recognize I am as safe as I can be. I am as secure as I can be. And nothing on this Earth can really touch me. Yes, it can make me sick. Yes, it could make me uh, experience circumstances that are difficult. Yes, there could be losses involved. But in the big picture... Eternally speaking, my identity and my very being are safe and secure with Christ. And I'm actually seated in a place of honor and a place of authority above the threats that the the rulers of this world, the, the spiritual entities, the demons that are here and try to affect us can have any effect on. 
You see, I am secure in Jesus Christ because I'm seated with him in heaven. Friends, you are too. Jesus, we don't understand this, but we want to embrace that's true because you've given us this revelation in your word of the spiritual realities that are going on behind the scenes. And we are seated with Jesus. It just blows our minds. So Lord, give us a sense of awe and wonder that moves us to great faith in this life. We ask it in the name of Jesus because of what he's done for us. Amen. Amen.